Hi guys. It is a gorgeous Saturday summer afternoon here in the end times in the Finger Lakes of New York here on this lovely and exciting Saturday afternoon, August 3rd, 2019. So I got 15 minutes to kill here at the laundromat. Uh, I think I got about 15 minutes left on the dryers in the laundromat. Yes, I am at a laundromat, your old eco-Nazi depressed collapsitarian at the local laundromat using a clothes dryer. You know, I am, uh, now I'm house sitting this nice house for a fellow tribes member and who does have a washing machine but no dryer, but I, I kind of remember there's something not right about the washing machine. It's kind of halfway collapsed, so I'm a little nervous. What I'm doing today is sheets and blankets. So, uh, so I came down here, so I made, you know, got in my gas-sucking truck, used all the fossil fuels, to come down here to the laundromat to wash my stinking ass uh, sheets and blankets. And uh, so now I got a bunch of wet sheets and blankets. So what are my choices now? My buddy, good for him, does not have a clothes dryer. Doesn't own a clothes dryer. My uh, fellow Humpty Dumpty tribes member. So... I've got all of these goddamn sheets and blankets to spread out. There's no clothes dryer. There's no clothes line. I guess he just puts his clothes over these little racks inside his house and hopes that uh, after a week or two his clothes will be dry. So what am I going to do, guys? I, I mean, one choice is load up these, these wet-ass sheets and blankets and spread them all over the house and hope that they're dry by the time by Wednesday afternoon. I guess that's one choice or what I can do is go back to the house and put up a clothesline and put the uh, blankets out on the clothesline. You know, set up an entire clothesline to use one time or I can do what everybody else at the fucking laundromat is doing today, and that's throwing the goddamn uh, things in a big ass clothes dryer, putting them on the hottest heat uh, available uh, in the fucking dryer, and uh, and drying my goddamn sheets and blankets. And that's exactly what I'm doing. Of course, it's what I'm doing. That's what they built the fucking dryers to do. That's why they built the goddamn laundromat. You know, uh, I'm, I'm, I have to admit, guys, I'm, I, I, I'm just beginning to enter that Michael Rupert territory where my, my twisted, ironic, sick, black sense of humor it's no longer, you know, giving me a pass uh, from living down here in this hellhole called the Doomosphere. It, you know, with each passing day, uh, as the evidence just mounts more and more and more how completely fucked we are, uh, and, and, and that there's not a goddamn thing we can do about it, or more importantly, or as importantly, that we would do about it. Uh, even if we could, I can't remember which Alert Tribes member sent me this cartoon out of The Guardian this morning, this long cartoon out of The Guardian, and what it was, was this little endangered penguin, I guess, down there on some shrinking uh, ice flow in Antarctica, you, you know, his message to humanity from Antarctica about, uh, you, you know, you, you motherfuckers, uh, you know exactly what you're doing 
uh, to the penguins and every one of your fellow earthlings and to yourselves and into this goddamn planet and and for even for those people and, and I would say this penguin is being very optimistic, th thinking that more than a tiny fraction of the humans on this planet have ever given one second of thought about how just their everyday uh, consumer and lifestyle choices are fucking up the planet. But, he, you know, he was talking to assuming that, that the readers of The Guardian for some reason, uh, now Andy the gardener would say I'm being a little bit naive here. I'm going to give the Guardian readers a little bit uh, more credit for at least understanding to a tiny degree how fucked we are. Um, I mean, more than uh, more than your average human being on the planet. So this little penguin was basically talking to Guardian uh, reader level of of eco Nazis and depressed collapsitarians. And you know what the little penguin was basically saying is you fully understand how you just going about your daily business. Uh, that everything you do, everything you touch, is is killing every one of your fellow Earthlings that you share this planet with. And you guys, meaning me, uh, know goddamn well what you're doing to fuck this planet, and that little penguin knows goddamn well that you are not uh, going to change your little consumer and lifestyle choices. Uh, you, you know, you are not going to step out of the convenience zone. You, you know, I, I mean, sure, I guess I now, uh, my buddy, he had, you know, just a hand washing laundry uh, tub there uh, next to the lot. I could have hand washed. Uh, these sheets and blankets, I, I damn well could have done that. I could have spent about an hour, hour and a half hand washing all of this shit in cold water. I could have, I have the rope right here. I, I could have stretched a rope across the goddamn yard on this beautiful, bright, sunny summer afternoon. I could have made a clothesline uh, and, and hung these sheets and blankets up. I, I never needed to step in a gas-sucking car to drive to a laundromat. I never needed to uh, use the electric washer. I never, sure as shit, never needed to use an electric dryer. I had the option to avoid all of that, but I did not want to hand wash uh, the, the, these goddamn sheets and blankets. I did not want to go to the trouble of stretching out a clothesline across the goddamn yard and hanging up all these sheets and blankets and taking them in tonight and taking down the t taking down the goddamn clothesline when my other choice was to walk six feet from the fucking washer, throw them in a big ass electric dryer, put the temperature on high, and come out here and sit in my comfortable gas sucking truck while my planet killing sheets and blankets went right about killing the planet with, with, with full knowledge that what I'm doing. Now, what I don't know that that little penguin down there in Antarctica and whether the editors of The Guardian realize or not, uh, it, that's a little bit unclear whether the apocaloptimist or whoever was being addressed here has peeled the onion back uh, you know, at one one deeper layer beyond uh, this th this ridiculous joke 
uh, at this point that there's a fucking thing we can do in our individual consumer and lifestyle choices working from within the system uh, to make a fucking difference on the planet. The goddamn planet does not give a fuck whether uh, I throw my clothes in a washing machine and a clothes dryer or not. It makes no fucking difference to this planet at this point. This, this fucking planet is going down. And, and, it may, and it doesn't make a goddamn difference whether some self-proclaimed high and mighty uh, self-proclaimed fucking eco-Nazi uh, throws his goddamn sheets and blankets in, in a washer and a dryer and, and takes a, yet one more trip in his gas-sucking truck uh, to the laundromat is going to make no fucking difference uh, whether or not uh, global industrial civilization and this planet collapse. That's what uh, I, I, I'm not sure that the little penguin and the editors of The Guardian, uh, whether they understand that or not. But when you do get to this level, uh, and you do understand uh, on a fucking cellular level how just, just completely pointless it is at this point, completely fucking pointless, that, that everything we do uh, from this point forward is A, completely pointless, and B, not only is it completely fucking pointless, that every fucking thing that, uh, that we touch uh, is uh, contributing directly to the deaths of our fellow earthlings. And that's as true uh, for the fucking vegans as it is uh, for, you know, for the goddamn carnivores. You know? Uh, and, and, and I'm just begin, I'm beginning to lose my fucking sense of humor about it. I really am. You, you know, you, you can only treat this, uh, this, this knowledge as, uh, as it just it is now, it's just in your face. You, you know, my, my Doomer headline of the week, the number two story on the planet today is that what is going on in Greenland as I am sitting here throwing my fucking blankets into this clothes dryer uh, just exceeds the worst case scenario most pessimistic climate models uh, by more than 50 years that what these climate models that, uh, that, that we're basing, uh, whatever we're basing uh, on at this point, you know, we're showing that what is going on in Greenland right now today while I am making this rant was not supposed to start happening until 2070. And, and that was the most pessimistic, worst case scenario climate model. Uh, you know, this is just one example. And then I was just uh, listening to my uh, interview that I'm putting out on Collapse Chronicles with this fellow Bill Lawrence. Uh, I, I don't mind saying I think this is the number one best interview I have ever had on, co uh, on Collapse Chronicles. And I'll rebroadcast it here on Humpty Dumpty Tribe on Tuesday. But, uh, you, you know, Bill Lawrence, we sat there and we started out talking about what's going on in the Amazon rainforest uh, today. Today. And then we use that as a segue into the bigger picture uh, of the Chinese Belt and Road Initiative. Uh, where this, uh, where this tropical conservation biologist who has spent his entire life 
uh, you know, looking at how fucked we are, spells it out that the, this Chinese Belt and Road Initiative, it it is the single biggest threat to this planet by far bar none. He is calling it, and I'm sure Book Hermit would cheer the man on, he is calling what is this Chinese Belt and Road Initiative, which approximately 99.9% .9 of this planet has never heard of, the single biggest threat to life on planet Earth, and it is unfolding right now. He calls it a bigger threat than climate change. And it just, it just adds more fuel to my argument I've been making that if every single earthling on this planet outside of China died today, if every single one of us in the U.S. and Europe and everywhere else died and only the people on China woke up tomorrow with no help from the rest of this planet, China will, with no help from the rest of this planet, destroy this planet. Do you get it? It makes no fucking difference what you do. And this is not on any level uh, me saying I do not fully support vegans and bicycle riders and all the rest of them more power to you, but just understand it's not doing a fucking thing uh, at, at, at this point. This entire system has to come down, and uh, every single one of us, uh, it, it, you know, is, is born into this system. And, and, and making uh, the, these little puny little lifestyle and consumer choices, you know, with the possible uh, asterisk of, uh, of not breeding. Who the fuck are you kidding? You know? It's just, uh, there, there, there is nothing to do from this point forward, guys, except to get out there and enjoy anything you can. Grab hold of anything you can that still brings you the tiniest little sliver of pleasure and joy. Uh, because we're fucked. Anyway, have I filled up 15 minutes? Uh, can I go get my goddamn sheets and blankets? Out of the fucking laundromat. All right. I'm off back into the laundromat. Bye, guys.